everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Zisa and today I decided this week that I wanted to do that Instagram recreating famous people's Instagrams and I decided I wanted to recreate Gabby Hanna's Instagram or The Gabby Show because she is wonderful and she makes me laugh and she's freaking amazing. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I want to start by saying she is beautiful and some of these pictures were incredibly hard to position my body. Like, I don't know how she contorts her body and I don't know how she does it, but oh my goodness, holy crap. So I'm gonna put the pictures here and I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below how you think I did and if I did well, I think I did okay. So the first picture that I uploaded to Instagram was her kind of, it's a very awkward position. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna put hers over here. And this was so hard. Luckily, I had a pair of overalls. The striped shirt is not actually a striped shirt. It's a dress that I had that I cut into a shirt because, um, yeah, I don't wear stripes. <laughs> so it was just so awkward having my leg just pretty much up in my face, like bent like that and my foot all like crooked and slouched and putting this face of like effortly, like I'm not totally in pain right now at all. But I think I did pretty okay. It got the same amount of attention as my normal Instagram pictures. I'm pretty sure because most of my friends realized that's probably something along the lines of something I would post on a regular day. <laughs> the second picture that I posted, it's by far my favorite because it, this picture of her is so beautiful and like effortless and she just looks like so radiant and just gorgeous that I was just like, A, I, I did not have life-size paintings of a scenic background. So I used my <laughs> creative cap and I put two giant mirrors that I own and set them up against my deck and what you're looking at is my backyard because I live in Michigan and we've got quite a bit of trees. So uh, here we go. And I did not have a pink blazer. The blazer that I'm wearing is actually a red trench coat that I bunched up and yeah. And boy did my legs hurt to be put in such an awkward position. But I think it turned out really well. This is actually one of my favorites that I took because, oh, you know, I just felt very pretty and one with nature because my goal is to be a wood nymph frolicking through the forest. The next picture was a pretty cool picture. It's not my favorite. A, the grass was itchy and I didn't have a fun colored shirt like that. So I, you know, stopped at my little Goodwill and was like, what is the most vintage 80s top that I could find? And I ended up finding like grandpa's sailing shirt. So here it is. And I couldn't like position, I'm very short. I'm five feet tall. So to position my body in such a way was a little difficult because I've got a lot of torso. So, um. I think I did okay. Let me know what you guys think. It was tons of fun being outside and we did it for the gram and it was actually raining while I took this picture. So, you know, brava to my wonderful friend Josie who, bless her, we sat out in the rain <laughs> taking this picture, which while you're trying to take pictures and then it starts raining, you're just like, do we go inside or we just continue on with our adventure? Because I mean, you couldn't really tell, but smile, be one with nature and don't let your neighbors look at you like you're super weird because that's exactly what my neighbors did. I'm just sitting out there having my friend take pictures of me and they're just looking at me like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> so yeah, uh -huh. moving swiftly along. The next picture, is <laughs> this one definitely got the attention of my neighbors. That is my front door where I'm sat. And my neighbors 
like I have like walkers and people that like walk by my house like at all the time. So for me just to be sitting in front of my front door and having my friend take pictures of me and me do that candid <laughs> I'm totally laughing. Look at this. <laughs> candid laugh was quite interesting. The little old lady next door was a bit confused and was like you get it, girl. Take those pictures. You're so adorable. And I'm just like, oh, thanks. I don't feel super awkward right now or anything. It's fine. <laughs> but I think it turned out okay. I actually had to reverse the picture because the direction that I was facing was the wrong direction, but that was the only wall that I had next to me. So yeah, I think it turned out okay. Gotta love some overalls. Got a pair on today. Overalls are fun. I feel like a giant child and want to go back to my youth. Just saying. And the last picture that I did was, I love this picture of her. I don't know what she's doing or why she has all of these balloons, but it was incredibly fun. I still have balloons running around my house because I, I'm too sad to pop them. They just bring such color and fun to the house. So I've kept them. <laughs> this is her picture and this is my picture. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't have zip up like track suits. So I just had like a red sweater and I think it, you know, gives the same feel. And I did blow up all those balloons with my friend Josie and we sat there and I'm gonna tell you, the Dollar Tree has some interesting balloon shapes. I got like an assortment of balloons. Now, when I think like an assortment, I think like, oh, like an assortment of colors, like they're different colors. Oh no, 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 no. They don't mean just an assortment of colors. They mean a variety of sizes. So I have the strangest shapes ever. They're not like your normal run of the mill balloon shapes. They're like, here, I'm a giant balloon and I happen to look like a sperm. Uh, here's another balloon that looks like a boob. I was just kind of like, are these like the reject balloons that they're just like, you know what? It's fine. No one's gonna notice. No one's gonna question anything. So, okay. It was so much fun. I had an absolute blast taking this picture because I got to play with balloons all day. So yeah, it was fabulous. <laughs> That was the last picture that I took and I I absolutely love doing this. It kind of got me a little bit out of my comfort zone of taking pictures because most of the pictures that I post, I don't post my whole body. I don't know why. I just don't regularly have people to take pictures of me because my husband does the tourist thing, bird's eye view or the crouching tiger kind of <laughs> pictures. So they're not the most flattering pictures ever. He's gotten a lot better, I will say. I had a lot of fun recreating Gabby's pictures because she is just amazing. She's so funny and just she just seems incredibly down to earth and she's the same age as me so i watch her all the time maybe she'll see this and that would be great i just want to say you're awesome and i love you <laughs> but <laughs> that's all that i have for you guys this week if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to become part of our little family and click that little bell notification so that you know every time I upload because if you don't click the bell, you won't know. I'll be here absolutely every single Saturday and sometimes on Wednesdays. As always, I love you guys very, very much. Until next time, bye!